Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're going to change a tuple into a list. But before we do so, uh, can you make sure that you hit the subscribe button below? It'll only take a second and it'll help the channel out and uh, I'll be very grateful. Anyway, uh, let's get on to what we're going to do today. Tuple to list. So first of all, we're going to create a function. Tuple to list tuple to list my tuple is equal to this is a tuple okay tuple or tuple Whatever way you want to pronounce it, up to you. Oh, I put my tipple. Yeah, it's not my tipple. My tipple is beer. <laughs> Don't know about you. Okay, there we go. My tipple. Right, okay. So we're going to print out. Let's have a look. Data type is. Okay, so we're going to print this out to the user. So the user can see that it really is a tuple. So, and this is how we do that. Print, and we've got type, and then my tuple. Okay, so that will print out the data type to the user so the user can see it really is a tuple. Okay, this is my list that we're going to create equals list and my tuple okay and again we're going to print the data type of this data type is And then we're going to print out the data type so the user can see that it's been converted into a list. So type my list. Okay, so there we go. Oops, made a mistake there. Shouldn't have put that in. Okay, so all we have to do now is call the function tuple to list. Right, let's just uh, save that and let's just run the program. And there you go, Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. So the first one here, my tuple, definitely the data type is a tuple. And then when we converted it into a list, it now says the class list. So the data type is a list. So I hope you found that helpful. And uh, before you go, remember, hit the like button and uh, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.